And while you're watching this video, please remember to like, subscribe to my channel, click the bell icon for notification of future videos, and share this video also. Thank you. Well, hello there, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Yes, so I have achieved my tripod and I'm ready to go again. Now, today is Saturday. By the time this video would have been re um, posted, Saturday, November 27th. And yes, I know based on a video that i did titled would jesus join the seventh day adventist church in the video i did say that i'm going to do a video on commandments and it will be dropping today that video is going to be posted later right so please bear with me and i know that i should have had a video um posted like yesterday and you know thursday i normally do things that are trending right and friday i would generally do something but i'm behind by two days so because of that i'll be uploading by god's grace my aim is to upload three videos today two videos on two things that are trending today and hopefully later the last video will be about the the, the, the commandments what jesus meant when he said if he loved me keep my commandments that's what I'm going to be posting later. Now the reason why I'm re I, I am doing a video on this, as you can see the title, it is because I I I, I somewhat feel I share some of the I, I can understand what Kirk Franklin is going through, right? That's one of the reasons why I'm responding. I, I'm doing a video on it, and there is something I want to point out, right? The not the next video that I'll be um that's trending that I respond to. It is something that actually happened in Jamaica. And the reason why I'm going to respond to it is because I have some videos that, I'll go, that I'm going to be putting out next week, right? And it will, make, it will enable me to make the video shorter because I would have brought out a, a point already in the video that I'm going to do later regards to what is trending, right? So I'm just giving stating that off the record so you understand what I, where I'm coming from and that you know we're on the same page right so that said Kirk Franklin most of you know would, would already know that Kirk Franklin is by far the most popular gospel artist right and as you would have seen in um, the thumbnail if you can see it clearly but then you might not be able to see it clearly that it is said that he won um Grammy for best gospel artist. Let me tell you how many times. Just give me a second here, guys. He won Grammy for best gospel artist. Oh gosh. One second here. Yes, he won Grammy for best best artist 16 times. Grammy award winning gospel artist. For 16 times, right? That's so often he has he, he has one. No, what I find um alarming, I wouldn't say alarming, you know, because I'm mature. I'm a mature Christian, I would say, is that of late we're seeing a lot of popular figures, right? Falling. When I say falling, being exposed, you know, either doing or saying things. I have done things that, you know, persons would say is not becoming a Christian, right? And yeah, popular figures, you know, who you'd call big wigs in Christendom, right? And why I say it's not alarming for me is because I'm mature enough to understand that no one is perfect, right? And that scripture knows no such thing as absolute perfection, which Seventh-day Adventists and many other Christian denomination would promote. Scripture doesn't teach um, sinless perfection and those kind of things, right? In fact, James said in James chapter 3, which I oftentimes quote, that in many things we offend, right? Or we oftentimes make many mistakes. And the apostle, right, he, in saying we, he includes himself in that category that even he made mistakes often, right? The apostle John says that, he writes to them that you sin not. However, if anyone sins, we have an advocate, which is Jesus, right? So the fact that 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 John wrote this, you know, he's he's essentially telling telling his readers, you know, that it is it is natural, then so to speak, 
if you sin. Even though it is, it is his wish that it doesn't happen, it is possible that it will happen. Right? And if and when that happen, there is Jesus, the advocate there, who mediates on your behalf with the Father and in turn grants you forgiveness, right? For that sin that you commit. Right? So that even though you sin, you won't lose God's favor. Jesus' role is, 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 is basically for that purpose. So what this is essentially saying to you is that it is highly unlikely that anyone will achieve absolute perfection, right? Because the minute you achieve that, uh, if that was possible, there would be no need for an advocate, right? That's simply um, common sense, right? So I'm saying this, not that I'm, um, I'm trying to defend um, Kirk Franklin, so, so to speak, right? I'm not defending him. There is absolutely no excuse for sin, right and i am happy that he didn't um give an excuse for what he did so to speak he he confessed openly that despite the reason for his sin it was still wrong and it still isn't justified because the bible says that be angry and sin not right nevertheless um i have to say that i don't know the circumstances i, I don't know everything so far Based on what I've seen, I've only heard the father's side of the story. That is Kirk Franklin. I don't know the son. What's the reason that what led him to do that, right? I've, we only know one side of the story. So when you know one side of a story, you can't take sides. However, what I will say is that both of them is wrong. Kirk Franklin is wrong in how he responded to what happened, right? Disrespect that he says that is coming from his son, right? He is wrong in how he handled it. And his son is very much wrong in exposing that on, on the internet. I don't support that. None at all. It seems to me that his son planned, premeditated and planned the whole thing. And what it actually suggests is that it's not the first time he, um, Kirk Franklin may have had outbursts like that with, it, with his son. If that was the case, right, there's no way he would know to actually plan out the whole thing. Because he knows he can provoke him. And he knows that that will be the result. So he actually plans it. It seems to me then that this is an issue, right? That Kirk Franklin have with um, anger, right? And I would, I would argue that perhaps God allowed this to happen for him to realize in himself that he needs to work on that, right? He needs to work on that. I, I remember stating it, you know, in my analysis of um, Rabbi Zacharias that when you have a sin, right that so besets you if you just leave it right there and you're not continually fasting praying asking for the lord to help you to overcome it it's going to fester up and one day it's going to bring you embarrassment right so don't leave it there unattended and say oh it's okay it's normal no work on it find someone to talk to ask surprise and so forth so that you can overcome it right because the end result it's going to overcome you and that is what is going to happen right so i'm i'm being fair be, i'm splitting justice you know saying who is wrong and and what have you so i'm not taking any sides right here right but nevertheless again i hope that whatever relationship that he has with um his son that is kirk franklin that it will be um somewhat restored you guys would remember when i did a video myself if you look in the playlist titled social issues i talk about how i had low self-esteem growing up something that a lot of persons perhaps didn't know and how i i had suicidal thoughts and i was able to overcome them both right now i think my self-esteem may be too high <laughs> as it is right now i'm trying to keep it down a bit so that i don't become arrogant you understand most persons will uh, when i tell a shady's testimony persons are shocked you had low self-esteem bravo that's a testament to what god can actually do or god can change a person's life no one would ever believe that this guy who speaks so confidently and is so bold in his exposition and biblical things just my overall demeanor and how i act doesn't suggest no that i have a low self-esteem so persons wouldn't know that but 
a lot of the reasons why I had this low self-esteem, as I would have stated, is because of the relationship with my mother. Now, I'm not going to go in detail about it. That's not the purpose of this video. You can go and check it out for yourself. Yes, sorry about that, guys. I'll post it in the comment section for you all to check it out so that you can understand that when I see this happen with Kirk Franklin, I could have helped myself but do this video because I understand what he is going through. I understand, you know, him and, him and his son. I perfectly understand what's going on because I have similar issues too as well. And it can be very hard, you know, when you have these kind of family um, issues because when it comes to friends and just about everyone, it's easy to salvage that. You can always up, up for just simply cutting them off. You know, and you, you, they go east and you go west. But when it comes to a family member, especially a mother or a father, you don't want to do that. No one wants to do that to, 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 to move in separate ways from the parents. Unless situation, you see, it, that, 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 that it can't be helped, you're not going to want to do that. And even as a son, a, a child, son or daughter, it's your duty, you're bound to your parents, in, so to speak. You're not son to give them honor and so forth. So you're not going to want to cut them off. Some person say that, yeah, you can love them from a distance. Yes, you understand? But when it comes to friends and so on, you can always choose to not love from a distance. But when it comes to family, it is rather challenging and difficult. I remember in one of my videos to posted a prior, prior, um, when I requested prayer for my subscribers, I said that I was going through personal things too last year. I didn't mention what that is, but I'm using the time now to tell you I had family issues. That was some of the things that I was going through with a little brother that was giving me headache. And trust me, I did sin. Maybe not like how um, Kirk Rankin sin, but I did sin. It's just that I never got exposed. And if I got exposed, I would have been embarrassed. In an outburst of rage, I'm telling her being constantly provoked by, uh, 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 by him, that was the result. It just goes to show the weakness of the flesh in her guys. And so this is why you see when I come on here, I only attack doctrines. I don't attack persons. I don't seek to do it. Even when you see me talk, use um, Pastor Gina Jennings and I'm using him as an example to talk about Pentecostalism faith. Many persons have a lot of negative things to say about him outside of um, what he teaches. You notice I don't stress on that. I don't stress on that because I myself is not perfect. And until I become perfect, I'm not qualified to call out anyone sin publicly because I'm not perfect. I could easily be exposed just as many of them. You understand? So I only attack doctrine and this is the point. That I want to make to you guys. Don't put anyone on a pedestal. I don't want any of you to put me on a pedestal. What I want you to do. Is to pray me up. And pray for me. You understand? Because that is why Paul says. If any man think that he, that he stands. Let him take heed. Lest he fall. You understand? Never reach a place where you think. Oh you're dear. You're so holy. None of us is beyond, beyond, uh, 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 beyond falling. Right guys? So this is what I want to say to you. I am glad that he apologized. That is Kirk Franklin. You are well forgiven by me. My friend Kirk Franklin. Right now I wouldn't mind having one of your albums now to listen to. Right. But I do hope that the relationship with you and your son will get restored. It's just rather painful to see that your son is so immature. Though, and I can understand what you're going through. There are several ways he could do that. He could, um, you know, deal with his issues with his, with his father rather than purposely try to expose him like that. When I talk about my situation and my relationship with my mom, it's not to expose her, so to speak, you know. If you think that that, that was my intent, it was far from the truth. It's bas it was basically to show the problems of society, that people go through real problems and that you can overcome despite the problems that you have. And that everyone has a story. That was the intent of me putting out my videos. Speaking about low self-esteem, suicidal thoughts. And how it stemmed from my relationship with my mother. Right? It was not anything about exposing anything. And such immature kind of things. You understand? So it's just sad that you have such a son. Right? But I hope nevertheless he's still a son. 
and I hope that the relationship can be remedied. Again, you are forgiven by me and I'm sure you are forgiven by the mass, Kirk Franklin, but try to work on that weakness that you have, learning to control your temper, right? And, and learning how to deal with situations when you're being provoked, right? So that's all I'll say about this. Guys, I do hope that you're edified from this. If you are, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Bye-bye now.